Meme quarantine be like. That's it. I'm gonna look for Leo so we can get this show on the road. No offense, April, but we really need to get back to our lair. I'm going stir crazy. You are going nowhere until your brother returns. Sit. Man, what a chip. We gotta sit around on our butts while Leo's out there having all the fun. Yeah. So, um, hello everyone, this is Take Out Review C, and welcome back to another very sad update video. And, yeah, this is about Minty as a whole. So, let's break down a few things. I know that I've been doing this quite a lot recently, I think this is like the third video I've been covering about the virus with this whole industry, but this probably might be the last one for a long time. Okay, so let's break it down. So, Arazo Timinti, what is happening with that? Well, as far as, far as anyone is concerned, everything is still happening. So, with the toys, it has been cancelled. The show, it, they said that it will be, uh, or be shown a new episode in April. But as far as we're concerned, that pretty much won't happen at, at the rate of recording. But that, but, but that, but that basically that does not mean that we can't give up hope. So, let's hope that there are new two episodes. And maybe they can only give us up the rights and give it to someone else so that they can make a better TV show than Rise. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but yeah. So with everything else, so we got Neko Timinti. They are pretty much being delayed, um, probably till the end of the year or even till next year. And that's only due to the fact that they need to be shipping uh, pro um, the products. So that's a big factor into it. And then the second thing is. Is that basically you need to have the parts to make the figures, and the parts which I use come from China. And I think you, yeah, I think you can already uh, tell where this is going. And yeah, I've already mentioned this before. But yeah, so just don't count on the um, new figures. Anyone, any of them that do show up, um, they're probably going to be infected. But like, take a chance. It's, it's only going to be the bots probably. So while you're out there, just. Let's pick up a few um, foot soldier ones to build up your army. Uh, let's talk about the IDW run. So, and, and about tolls and like toll comic in general. And this is a really big, big factor that is really going to damage the whole comic community. And we're not just talking about uh, IDW or tolls or anything like that. We're talking about like Marvel and DC. Like, the think of the biggest comic brand you know. And it's done. It, it's finished. It's over. No more for this year. Possibly even next year, and maybe even the year after that. And well, yeah, the one of the comic industry, um, I think it's called like Diamonds, uh, something like that. They basically gave out a notice saying that they are not going to be doing. Uh, they're not. They're not, not going to be sending out new clients due to the virus. And yeah, that's pretty bad and shocking news. But this was only um, a few days afterwards. The fact that uh, pre convert day was it was delayed to a later date, but yeah, that's even been cancelled, so we won't be able to get a free comic books. <laughs> I that's my one day I was looking forward to the most this year, and I had to ruin it. But still, um, yeah. So what this means on the toll uh, comic industry or toll comic uh, line? So the last Ronin that's going to be pushed back, um, maybe next year or the year after that, and. This is supposed to be their big year for it, the 200 page one, the darkest tour comic stuff ever. But that's going to be pushed back until a later date. And that's quite sad because I think a lot of people are actually looking forward to it. it uh, due to the like, darker tone and uh, the mystery that they have been teasing us with. And that's pretty sad. So, um, the Urban Legend run. Now, um, this is another sad one just due to what's, uh, like, what it means. Now, what I mean by what it means is that basically, this is its second time being released, and this time it's being released in colour, and also it's finally going to be completed for the last two issues. Now, this is going to be a big impact on that, as due to we will never get the uh, we won't get the final three issues or two issues this year, maybe next year, possibly the year after that. Now, this will hinder it because we'll be leaving on suspense and all that. Um, Tension, whatever you call it, uh, build not to it. So that's going to have a big impact on it, but it might not because you know uh, we never did get the full story. So in a way, we could see this as uh, it was never meant to be. So 
that's one way you could look at it, or the way that I look at it is that I need new content. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so the um gen uh, the new issue or new tell line or comic series is called Jenny at, or Jenica, and uh, she's only got uh, one more issue to go. I think that's supposed to come out uh, next month, and sadly that won't be continued. Um, well, I feel like that one might never get continued just because it was a small, uh, single mini not single like mini issue sort of type thing. Um, yeah, so that's going to have a big impact on her because that's her first crank line and also it's a way to so finally get behind the character. Yeah, I guess, might as well. But sadly, that's going to have a big impact on her storyline, her role in the total community, and what we actually think of her. Um, the next one I'm going to talk about is the Power Rangers and Tim and T crossover. Now this one might have a bigger impact on it just because it's got the last two issues to go and so far what they've done in the story of what I've heard is that there are some pretty big intense things and a lot bigger than what they did in the next rotation one and like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say uh, spoil some stuff but like one thing which I did do which I'm pretty sure everybody knows in the Toll community now even though I covered it on the Toll channel is that Tolls have become Power Rangers so yeah that's, that, that might have a big impact on the story, but overall, I can't really see how a big two impact just because it's an household storyline for Turtles. Maybe not so much for the Power Rangers, but that's definitely going to hinge into the fact um, for the comic line, as you won't get the final two issues. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's going to be pretty sad for everyone. Um, so, the final one is going to be the current IDW on Gone series. Now, this one's actually quite sad because this one's only just uh, got going. Uh, we went, we got uh, four issues into it, and wow, it's actually really uh, it's it's funny going someplace, and they're funny, and the place, and and when it finally gets start going, they finally cancel it. Um, the last issue had some pretty big stuff, and it, it's going to lead on to really really big stuff, but I just I guess we won't see it. So yeah, that's kind of a big deal and sad. Um, I do feel sorry for Sophie Campbell because this is her first time doing her full run on the comic. Um, yeah, that's quite sad for her. But the only thing is that uh, it's going to hinder into a story because it's going to be delayed. So, like, any big milestones which I do have planned will have to be delayed. Then. But the only good thing is that they will be able to expand on the storyline, make it better, tweak on it. So, yeah, I can see it becoming better-ish, I guess. Yes, no, it's not really. Um, but yeah, like I have said in the other videos on this virus thing, is that one way which they could solve the whole thing is by doing it to digital. Which, by the looks of things, it might happen, but I feel like a lot of people will be mad and just rather being like hand. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, but you know what? Let's leave on a happy note. Because on Monday, the 30th of, uh, what I mean, March? Yeah, that'll do. Um, it is the Tim and T 1990 movie, uh, 30th anniversary. And to do this, all 12 fans across the world are celebrating this milestone. And the way that you can come in and join the fun and be together with everyone, including me, is that we're all going to be on the internet. Oh, yeah, of course we are. We're all going to be on Kevin Eastman's, um, yeah, uh, Facebook page. He's going to be doing a live stream. He's going to be, um, we're all going to be watching the Tom movie through there. So, yeah, I'll say come on down to it. 3 p.m. Pacific time, I think it was. I don't know. But we look on this Instagram page. It says full details. Uh, so, yeah, come on down and do that. Um, it, sh it should be fun. And yeah, just a way to celebrate Toll Media, the Toll, uh, Toll Movie, and also for everyone to get together and have some fun. And also, you never know, you might be able to talk to the creator. So that's what I'm going to do. I won't be using my internet name. I will be there undercover as someone else. I mean, that sounds a bit shady, but I will be there, guys. Don't you don't you worry. Uh, this depends on like time, um, like like time differences for some people. So do guess that could be quite a big deal, um, but yeah, I do hope you guys can come on down to join us in the fun. I know I'm not going to be hosting it, but 
I'm, I'm going to be there, might as well, I've got nothing better to do other than sit here and make some bad YouTube videos while everybody watches them. Uh, shout out to you, Timothy Planet, for watching them all the way through. Yay, thank you. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, so let me go, so let me know what, what you guys think of it. Are you going to be joining the live stream? Are you going to be there? And all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you do like this one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Good. Bye, yo, bye.